job. Future Dan, also Finally. watch out for that thing that was happening that you didn't fix, because it's going to hurt you. What? I don't know. I'm just giving myself a warning. Hey, you don't even know what it's about. I, I'm just <laughs> thinking I'm going to need it. Just some random warning that is very vague, just in case something does happen. Exactly. That you could basically say, hey, I warned you. Yeah. To yourself. I wanted to. I want to tell myself I told me so. This tree is not nearly big enough. I can't believe my luck. There's something that we need to I try. I can't believe that fucking works. That whole, just. <laughs> we need to try something. I need to use science. I like that guy. What guy? The guy who replaced uh, Watch and Pokemon and Pokemon for Pokemon X and Y. So who? much better. Sycamore. No, the, the the guy who guy replaced the guy who played replaced Brock. Oh, Clement. Paul? Yeah. Paul Paul was a rival. He was the guy who replaced the guy who replaced Gary. Yeah. <laughs> but it Wait, makes sense. Be they had a rival each season. To be perfectly season. honest, um, unlike Brock, Gary kind of was replaceable. And the point is, you could replace the rivals, but Brock was such a good team member. Brock was. Rock was basically the rock of the team. Yeah. He was the guy that was... Literally. Like, rock type. <laughs> Even though he really didn't do rocks at uh, all. Uh, until, like, he did rocks until, like... like he His had, first catch was the Zubat. Well, he did not get like, another rock type the whole course of the thing. Same well, with Big like he, Silent, he, never he, catching he, a grass type. Uh, he stayed rock for, like, you know... Majority rock for, you know, uh, Kanto Robot and Johto. Rock. He didn't catch anything but new, But he didn't recrash anything, type. but he was still, like, his still main ones, except for, like, Zubat. Right, Were right. rock types. But I'm just until, saying he until, didn't until, get like, a rock. Once, he, once you got onto Hoenn, that's where his main Pokemon were not rock type. Yeah, didn't no. he get, like, a Marsh Chomp or something? Yeah, at that point, like, whereas, like, more so, he started with all rocks, and he's still basically a rock trainer, but he has a few others, uh, to a point where, like, this guy's no longer a rock trainer. This guy's and now... That just kind of annoyed me, because the point... I, I What I wanted to see was but... gym leaders catching Pokemon of that type. Which is what really annoyed me when Iris in the 5th gen just waltzed out there and got a Dragonite for no reason, and caught, like, nothing else. She got an Amolga, an Excadrill, and a Dragonite. And she already had the Excadrill, so that doesn't count. But, I mean, to a point, though, you gotta think, though... I, it kind of was touched upon in black and white, too, was the fact that they kind of build their team. Like, they have a specific team for, like, gyms. And, then and that's they, true. And then if you looked at Origins, uh, Brock clearly asks Red how many badges he has. Yeah. And then brings out two specific Pokemon for that. And that those six or whatever that were lined up were just for the gym. Yeah. yeah. To me... Brock could have had a personal graveler that was yeah uh, like and plus, level like, five million. I mean, in a way though, the gym leaders are supposed to be the best. And the only way to be the best is to you know, practice. And, but like at the same time, you want to say, "Hey, I'm just like I'm using I'm a guy that helps that also helps trainers improve and basically get them." basically a test to see whether or not they can go to the okay, Pokemon League. Which, in that case, you don't want them to be extremely difficult. Yeah. Where's the bone So, meal? at that point, it's kind of like they need, like, their own gym team and then their own personal team sort of idea. Which, maybe having one or two crossover, but still, gym versus personal team, and if it's a personal team, they might want... If it's just... They always use personal team, they gotta hold back. Yeah. But, which is how I feel... Uh, well, obviously, Surge... Axe, Sabrina, Giovanni, Giovanni, Blaine, Blaine even. Yeah. Those Blaine, tougher that, gym leaders, I feel like they don't really hold back that much. But the the, the tougher gym leaders. So. Because of that. <laughs> well, yeah, and they're like the, the the like, and also you gotta think. Well. Hey. When, when you encounter them. Do you have a pumpkin? Because I can make four seeds and grow more pumpkins. Yes. But you also gotta think though, um, in terms of those gym leaders, they're the later gym leaders. Exactly. So at that point, it's saying, "Hey, this guy's good enough to be considered bet one of the best in the country." 
There we I, go. Bone I arrow. got to. I Bone got to. I, I got to go full, all out because as opposed to another one, it's just, just kind of like saying qualifying. There we know, go. Like, the now that that part of the, that other tree my, is going to grow feeling, and it's going to fill out and it's going to kill everything. My feeling is like the eighth gym is really is the one where the guy got to go has to go all out. Yeah. Um, or you know if yeah, it just all depends. If you have a nice group of the teams, first gym, a nice the team, first gym, no. No. Second gym, no. And that's why everyone's like, oh, Brock's shit. No, Brock is not shit. You've ever fought him in Heart Gold and Soul Silver? He's a bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, like, um. <sighs> Who brought up the thing about Heart Gold and Soul Silver? Dan did, just then. No, but I'm saying, like, we were in a Skype call and I was with our conversation about Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Where. Oh, yeah, it was you. I was like, you. you like, was it you who said, like,. Uh, you, didn't, you, you didn't really much like, you know, second gen. Uh, I just specifically did not like the way that they level schemed Heart Gold and Soul yeah, Silver. Because no, no. the wilds were weak and there was random jumps in level. There was a huge gap between what happens when you defeat the Elite for the first time and then, like, like no. you're, you're not thrown even... into, like, holy shit! No, not even that level gap. I'm talking about Mahogany Town, Blackthorn, and Lake of Rage. Like, that area has, like, a ten level gap skip compared yeah. to everything else and relatively little story in between yeah. it's like gym leader but, gym leader the lake of rage blackthorn still Very one of the best game. pokemon games in my opinion oh no i don't neglect the fact that heart gold and soul silver were fantastic games i just the thing don't was, like that part of johto and i don't like the johto starters that much that's I like the johto it. Starters. I, they're just they're not my favorites i, mean, I don't hate let them let me just say just um weird. in terms of like the pokemon added Jodo, yeah, um, Jodo's added Pokemon aren't necessarily my favorite. There's certain ones that I like, but a lot of them oh, were kind of meh. Like, personally, I think, um, Hoenn. I think a lot of the Pokemon added in Hoenn I liked a lot. See, Hoenn is one of those weird ones, because some people don't like a lot of Hoenn. And, well, the same with some people not liking a lot oh, of Gen I 5. I like Ray. I, uh, Gen 5. Gen 5 was black and white, right? Yeah. I did not like them. Like, I liked Zekrom. I liked Zekrom. Oh, I, no. I, 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 there, were some, there were some ones that were good. Yeah, there were some really good Gen 5s. there fives. was a lot more of baby ones cow. that were just like... Yeah. Uh, but in the same regard, if people are going to be all like, oh, you you don't... you uh, Like, people will hate on Garbodor, but not hate on Muck. I don't see why you should be hating Garbodor Trubbish. when Muck is the same. Grimer and Trubbish are the same. Muck and Garbodor are the same. Same with Weezing and Coughing. Those three are um, land pollution, water pollution, and air pollution. So of course they're going to look gross. Uh, well, and also like people will bitch about anything that's not Gen 1. and I'm not one of those guys who bitch about it. anything that's not Gen 1. It's just I didn't really... I just well, like the other not... well, the other gens, like I felt like I could really get into the new Pokemon they added. Gen five, I just like I'm, I I really couldn't get into it. But that might also be part of part of because in Pokemon White, they didn't have any like kind of like round to like say. At we least, still remember you. I, I still have this one. I still have this one. I still have this one. So I'm more likely to find new favorites. Whereas this, it's like I'm thrown into a world and it's like, I don't know these guys. But that was how it was in the beginning of Gen 1. You didn't know anything there. Yeah. But it was a whole new thing, so there wasn't anything a to base it off of. A whole new thing. Yeah, that's true. Wh which, it's but understandable. Like the, thi the thing was, like, Hoenn. Ho the more, Hoenn games. Can you make um, more that was, Hoenn was nice. They had a large amount of Pokemon from every generation. But the thing was, in terms, like... They had they had a significantly oh, wow. decreased oh, amount of ones from previous check, generations. Check it, no bone meal. Like I felt like um, you definitely found a lot more whole new Pokemon, but they still had like a few fan favorites that you could still hold on to. Mm -hmm. So Dan, riddle me this: Can you make more apples from just apples? No, no. But if you do have pumpkins, a pumpkin. You can go into the crafting and split it into four seeds and thus grow more pumpkins. And I literally just found that out. Uh, but uh, you know, what, the only thing I'm saying about Gen 5 and Garbodor and stuff is if you hate on Garbodor but praise Muck, it's kind of being unfair to Garbodor. 
You can hate it because it's garbage, but you shouldn't hate it because it's an it's an inanimate object. Because then you should be hating on Muck the same level. What's next? I personally I didn't, like. I didn't. I didn't like how Garbodo looks. Um, I personally like, liked where, where, Muck. Luck, so. where I like where Muck and Weezing like I can actually get behind the look of it. Garbodor just it looked like a blob. To be perfectly honest, it looked like a blob. But it didn't look like a, a lovable blob. It just looked like a blob of color, like just like weird. Trubbish definitely looks better than Garbodor. I'll give it that. Trubbish is kind of a, like adorable We're, in a dorky way, a dorky. Yeah, way. like well, like you could actually see some like features to it. Where yeah, like Trubbish kind of looked like a little kid trash bag. You could tell. Where, it was where a young like trash um, kid. where like uh, Garbodor from real quickly. It just looks like a mass of pixels to me. Yeah, I can believe that. Like it's just like a like a whole mass of pixels where you can't really distinguish anything from it. Yeah, I just don't want to. It looks like missing now to me. Personally, kind of, kind of has like that missing no sort of sense where it's just like, what am I looking at? Yeah, I, I understand that. Which, um, and then I didn't really like the ice cream ones. Yeah, fair enough. I, I'm I not mean, a big okay, fan of okay, them okay. I, I, I will say, I, I can't, I can't shit on them because of the names yeah. because they did that in the past. Yeah. But but you know what's I, I didn't, sad? I didn't like how they looked either. The ice cream was made by an American. But another, of course. another of American course. designed some Pokemon for Gen 6. The Honage line, Honage. the two fossils, and Pangoro. Panchim, to... The two pandas, the fighting type pandas, the, uh, d the two dinosaur fossils, and like, the swords I... were made by another American, and that guy did it well. That guy did it well. The, the guy in American from Gen 5, go kill yourself. Just kidding, <laughs> just just kidding. Don't yeah. kill yourself. I'm not, this is not hate mail. I was just, think, I was just you'd joking. You think he would have made the Braviary, though? Because it's like, go America. What about Bofalant? What? The you buffalo. mean the buffalo Pokemon designed around the hairstyle? Taurus. What? It does look like it should be an evolution of a Taurus, doesn't it? Except they're two different know. animals. I think Tauros is better than Bufalant, but guess what the name in Japanese is for the signature attack? What? Afro Break. Um, I, I will oh, say... Oh, god that. damn it. Why do you Why? get a name? Why do you get a name but I don't? That's bullshit! Anyway, it's uh, 11, so Duncan, as soon as you go to bed, I think we're going to wrap this up. We're going to end this episode before I, just... I finish my sen... Uh, no. Tense. <laughs> We're going to finish it when Duncan lays his head on the bed. So, Duncan, go back to your fucking house. I'm looking for a turkey. There's chicken. No... <sighs> Alright, fine, whatever. Yes. We're done! Ba -ba 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 -ba. I think I'm going to end you guys saying that. Fuck you. Okay, maybe the fuck you.